Perry, two of the most followed accounts on the platform, lost hundreds of thousands of followers. Right. This now is NBC News senior reporter Ben Collins, who broke this story for NBCNews.com. Ben covers disinformation, extremism, and the internet. Just, just a few beats there, uh, Ben. Ben, first off, welcome to Top Story. You broke this story. It's now everywhere. We saw there that there, there seemed to be some type of connection with followers who follow people who may be sort of left-wing and people who follow uh, some influencers on, on the right. What exactly happened here? How'd you pick up on this? Yeah, a lot of people noticed that they were losing followers. They were like, is this a glitch? Uh, did they purge a bunch of bots here? Occasionally that's what happens on Twitter. You lose followers, come back, come back, and they say, oh, we just got rid of a bunch of bot networks. Don't worry about it. Those weren't, those weren't real people anyway. Uh, but when I researched Twitter this time, they did not say that. They said the opposite. They said these were authentic deactivations and authentic new accounts. The deactivations, uh, mostly, they said, uh, came from high-profile accounts. So, you know, some, any, really any account in the top ten there. So that's like celebrity accounts or, uh, you know, otherwise like entertainment. In stuff. 400 feet, turn left onto Lazy Oaks Drive. In an organic fashion. But, I mean, do you buy that? Um, I, I do, and here's why. Um, look, people were angry, and people left the service when they learned that Elon Musk uh, might take over this thing yesterday. Um, and, take the and next left onto Pence Road. Together, they said they were going to go to other services like Mastodon, uh, and a lot of people said they were going, and they did. And you can see uh, left-wing uh, politicians, people like Bernie Sanders or Barack Obama, they lost. Make a U-turn, then turn left onto Pence Road. Republicans gained you know, 80, 90,000 followers. If you were a high profile Republican, like, you know, Governor Ron DeSantis or Marjorie Taylor Greene, they picked up, uh, you know, 80 or 90,000 followers while others, uh, you know, were losing just as many. So you think that, that the Elon Musk news compelled, and we're now talking, oh, I guess we're definitely talking about hundreds of thousands of people to either join or get off that quickly? That's what Twitter says. Um, here's the thing with bot networks. They're not instantly identifiable, but it's pretty easy to find out uh, if there's some massive operation going on. Um, and they said that's not what it is. That's what I thought it was when I first saw it coming. I, th I thought that it was just a pretty standard bot situation. But that's not what Twitter is saying. It's a, uh, it's a fascinating time. And I do want to, I want to stress this, by the way. It's not entirely 100% uh, set in stone that Elon Musk is going to be the person who runs Twitter next. He has to get a bunch of financing. Uh, he has spent the day attacking Twitter employees, which seems to be against the rules of taking over this, co this company. So all this might be for God. <laughs> which would be even crazier. We have to monitor the follower accounts after that news. Ben Collins, great to have you on Top Story. I'm sure we're going to have you back. And congratulations on that big break on this story. When we come back, one woman's good news turned into a race for her life. How a team of dispatchers and first responders got her to the finish line just in time. Stay with us. making headlines around the world. We begin with breaking news. The attacks from Russia are coming in from every angle. Live from Ukraine, where a fierce battle is raging on. We've heard a number of explosions. Russia is picking off Ukraine's military facility. The factory is going from making kitchen pots to lethal items to the <laughs> left onto Pence Road.
continue for three quarters of a mile. in the next county over? I have a solution for you if you guys just go on 135. The ambulance crew had just marked back in service, was coming back down this way, and we were able to, to get them here as fast as we could. We knew that we were up against the clock, obviously. When I got into the ambulance, I had 30 minutes, 28 minutes. You're getting a little a little scared and it's getting a little stressful, and we're just flying through. With the help of that ambulance crew, the O'Daniels arrived at the hospital just in time. When I walked into those elevators, my phone timer went off, so I had made it right. in my one hour of time, but it was only... In 600 feet, turn left. Yeah, that's right, and awesome. everyone at the fire station that allowed me to and take their EMT crew. The surgery, a success. And now just a week later, the family going back to say thank you to the team who beat the clock. Hello. Take the next left, then you'll arrive at your destination. station WTHR for their help with that story and thanks so much for watching Top Story tonight. I'm Tom Yamas, New York. Stay right there. Well, hey there. I'm Joshua Johnson. It's great to be with you on this Wednesday, April 27th. And tonight we're talking about life after the pandemic. Not after COVID, just after the pandemic. Dr. Anthony Fauci says America's relationship with this virus has changed. We don't have 900,000 new infections a day and tens and tens and tens of thousands of hospitalizations and thousands of deaths. We are at a low level right now. You've arrived. Break down what this means for you and share some of your stories. Our special series on equity in the cannabis industry continues tonight. We need a Republican congresswoman who is pushing to legalize marijuana nationwide. Plus, Russia releases a former Marine to the U.S. in exchange for America releasing a Russian prisoner. What could this prisoner swap mean for basketball star Brittany Griner? And the popular video game Grand Theft Auto V is making some changes in its re-release. You'll see how its publisher is addressing some harmful stereotypes from the original game. 